Madrid's Bellingham scores again to secure 1-0 win at Celta. Real Madrid's new signing Jude Bellingham scored in the second half to earn his side a third straight win as they beat Celta Vigo 1-0 in La Liga on Friday to maintain a perfect start. The 20-year-old once again led the Spanish giant's attack scoring for the fourth time in his first three league games following Rodrigo's missed penalty earlier in the second half. Real were dealt an early blow as Brazilian forward Vinicius Jr. was forced off with a leg problem after 15 minutes, a notable loss for Carlo Ancelotti's side that comes on top of goalkeeper Thibaut Courtois and defender Eder Militao's injuries. Vinicius had some discomfort and we took him off. We'll see what he has in the next few hours, he had some muscular discomfort in his leg, Ancelotti said. I don't think, it's serious. He wanted to carry on, I think after the break, international break, he'll be back. It's a shame, he started well, he looked unstoppable. It is the first muscle injury suffered by the left winger. Who has scored 28 goals with 19 assists for real since the start of last season. Ancelotti added that Real will not look for further signings as his squad is strong enough despite injuries and the departure of Ballon d'Or winner Karim Benzema to the Saudi Pro League. It is a complete squad. If we are able to win without Courtois, Militao, Karim, Vinicius, it means that the squad is well put together. They have done well, he said. Celta were also forced into a substitution due to Franco Serva's injury shortly before halftime. The visitors had already come under fire in the opening seconds as Celta thought they had taken the lead only for VAR to rule out Jorgen Larsson's effort for a foul on goalkeeper Kepa Arizabalaga, making his debut following his loan from Chelsea. Kepa has played well, a clean sheet is a good sign, said Ancelotti. He deserved to play, I have said in these games that the goal is well covered. Both with Kepa and Andre Lunin. Rodrigo then had a golden chance to earn Real the lead in the 68th minute with a penalty after keeper Yvonne Villar tripped him in the box. However, Villar redeemed himself as he dived to his right to keep out the Brazilian forward's spot kick. I told Real midfielder Fede Valverde that Luka Modric had to take the penalty. I don't know what happened between them that they chose Rodrigo, Ancelotti said. I am a bit upset that Luka didn't take the penalty. However, England midfielder Bellingham put La Liga leaders real in front 10 minutes from time with a header from Jocelyn's touch off a corner to maintain his impressive start. Bellingham is doing very well, he keeps scoring. He's doing it because he's moving very well without the ball Ancelotti said. He's intelligent, he arrives at the right moment. After three away matches, High-flying Real will play their first home game next Saturday against Hetafe as renovations at the Santiago Bernabeu Stadium are completed, thanks for your watching. Don't forget to click the subscribed button and hit the bell icon for more.